Welcome back to the channel everybody. I am Florida Boy and this is my EDC channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at something pretty cool. This is the Emilent D or excuse me, LD70 EDC flashlight. And uh, so um, Juki, I, I hope I I hope I am saying that right. Um, reached out to me, sent me an email, asked me if I would be willing to do a review on this bad boy right here, and I have been eyeballing Emilent flashlights for a hot minute. Um, and yeah, I told him, of course, yeah, for sure, send it in. I'll do a review on it. So I did not pay for this. This was sent to me to do a review, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. So let's uh, let's get into it. So this is the Emilent LD70. Uh, this thing goes up to a maximum of 4,000 lumens and it has a Cree XHP 70.2 LED. Um, we'll, we'll talk about some of the other stuff that makes this thing super, super awesome. Uh, here is some of your packaging. There we go. The packaging is kind of like an iridescent blue. So I'll try to get it on, you know, get it in frame to where you can actually see what it says. Um, it's even kind of hard for me to see uh, uses one oh Jesus yeah I already went over that uh, okay so it says it right on the box um, it does have an OLED display that is what I am super super excited about uh, IPX8 water resistant um, and so yeah it has an 18350 battery uh, the only thing I'm not excited about that is it is a built-in battery I, eh. I mean, realistically, uh, people in the flashlight community or in the EDC community, if you buy flashlights, you probably aren't going to rotate this light enough or a single light enough for that battery to actually go bad. But you know, it's just it's just a minor gripe. Uh, I would I would much rather prefer a replaceable battery. Here we go. But de like I said, definitely for me, not a deal breaker whatsoever. Um, I, I really, I really don't mind to be honest. Uh, you know, I just, I, I, I pride myself in doing open and honest reviews and that is a very, very small nitpick from me. So this looks like we have the Chao Jia. Oh man. All right. So this box is definitely, <laughs> there we go. Okay. This box is definitely definitely a fighter oh there we go okay all right i don't see anything else inside the box i hope you don't either um they give you a nice little potato chip packet don't eat that please don't don't do it you heard it here don't eat it all right so there's our packaging and uh just to go ahead and comment on the packaging very nice um i love i love you know packaging is one of those very very small overlooked things that uh it just gives you that warm and fuzzy feeling whenever you get just a really nice box you know like when you buy an iphone or like a nice samsung galaxy or a one plus or something like that it, they just have that nice packaging and you're like yeah yeah this was this is premium i like that so starting off real quick we'll just go ahead and talk about this this is a magnetic charger and it looks like i've got a little something something on here um, just looks like just a piece of the box or something. I don't know. So USB A to the magnet charger, and you can see here, magnet is plenty, plenty strong. Yeah, there we go. And that's all she wrote. And uh, I am a huge fan of magnetic charging. Um, great, great job on that. And you know, if you if you haven't heard of Emilent, Emilent makes some of the brightest flashlights on the market. And this is just a small testament to that, but you'll see that. So here is your user manual. And like I said, LD70. And there's all the languages that this bad boy comes in. And we'll just get right into the meat and potatoes here. Um, English, there we go. Well, we won't, there you go. Here's, here's all the languages, so pause if you wanna read any of this. I'll flip it over. 
same same dealio pause if you want to read pause 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 there you go uh, these instructions are also available on their website can confirm so we are going to look at English version right here so turbo is 4,000 to 900 lumens high is 2,900 uh, medium is 900 middle low is 200 and low is 20 um, run times not too terrible uh, 15 hours you, you really I don't see a moonlight mode so your low mode is gonna be 20 lumens um, you know those flashlights where they're like you get a hundred million days that's that's because it's got like a half a lumen output for a moonlight mode um, 20 lumens is the low mode on this guy and 15 hours really really not bad um, I make a pretty good habit of charging my EDC lights um, I was just kind of skimming through here to see if there's anything I need to see. Yes, it will tell stand. I love that. Uh, made out of aluminum. Awesome. Uh, IPX8, we already talked about that. Thermal control. Um, yeah, cool. So here is your modes of operation. Uh, switching on and off, normal lighting mode, turbo is double press, um, low power warnings, intelligent thermal. So this looks like this is very similar, similar operations to like an Olight. Um, we'll, we'll see though. So first thing I'm gonna do is grab my, oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna grab him and we are going to wabam. And there you get your nice little charging indicator. Very nice. So far, so far, I'm really impressed. I really like the button. Uh, my button has a couple little scratches on it, uh, but you know, if you've been watching my channel, I that doesn't bother me. I don't mind. So here is standing on the face, which you should never do. <laughs> there is, and then there is your tail stand. Um, also, look, I got patches. This was just a this was just a uh, test run. So keep an eye out for uh, for Florida boy swag. This feels really, really nice in the hand. Sorry, I just had to hold it for a second. All right, so if 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 you know I'm saying it feels nice in the hand, then you know it feels robust and heavy. And ah, uh, yeah, I just I love lights like that. So, 3.1 ounces, very very good. I like that. And we will do. A little uh, where is my oh right right in front of my face if it was a snake um, got something on my mat here let me there you go all gone um, all right so moving back to the beginning here and we are just at bah, 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 three inches so I like the size I'm a fan of the size of this flashlight all right so let's see here so this will show us we're in lockout and there we go sorry it was four not three I don't know why I did three um, so if we press there we go so that shows we are at 20 lumens and you can see here there is your LED there is your Cree the button is very cl clicky uh, you can see down there this is a domed uh, XHP 70.2 very very nice like my dome lights and then we'll press and hold to ramp there you go there's your ramping double click for that turbo there's your 4000 lumens yes it is bright um, it just doesn't look bright here because you know studio lighting <laughs> So this thing does come in a nice little array of colors and uh, you can get it in black, blue, uh, there's like a coyote tan and a OD green. Um, I, uh, I know a couple people on the channel that probably be fans of the OD green. So let's talk about a couple other little things going on with this. Um, no pocket clip. So that might be a deal breaker for some. Um, Eh, I, I'm I'm impartial uh, so I like that we have if we look here and here we have a couple little lanyard holes so that that for me makes up for it 
um, I can I can dig some lanyard holes. Uh, I'll I'll throw a lanyard on there and I'll be just as happy. Uh, not not a problem for me. Um, you know I'm kind of twisting and turning here because I've been just waiting to say, oh the battery is replaceable. I've got some kind of little um, protective film. Oh man, I hate these things. I hate little protective films. Oh, uh, I can never get them off. They're like the bane of my existence. Uh, let's see. Do I have something? I do. I do. This is cool if you've never seen one of these. This is called the Arsenal. <laughs> Boom. This is what uh, kind of goes with me everywhere. I love this thing. Uh, let's see. Let's grab. Let's grab this bad boy right here. And man, that that little film. I told you, bane of my existence. I can't get it off. <laughs> it's on there. It's on there forever. <laughs> you can see it, right? Yeah, there you go. See, you can see it right there, and it's got some some red lettering right here on the middle. Um, oh lord. This is this is gonna be on here for the rest of my life. Um, will tweezers do it? My that's the only bad thing about this little arsenal kit is the tweezers are junk. I really need to get some of those um, what titanium tweezers. I don't know why I don't have titanium. I have a titanium comb and I don't have titanium tweezers. Uh, you know, we are going to just pass on that for a second. Um, watch me fail miserably at trying to get off a little protective cover. So we'll go back to looking at the light. Here's your tail switch. <laughs> Stuff like that. Just, I mean, I just have the hardest time. Anyways, uh, so like we were talking, 4,000 lumens. And you will get a max throw of uh, about 670 feet. So that is actually a pretty good distance. Um, we can see here. So let's let's go ahead and if I press and hold, no. Okay. So memory just brings you back right to where you were. So here we go. Here is 20 lumens, and then we'll ramp up. 200, 900, 2,000. Double tap. 4K. There you go. And this thing, um, I, I can go ahead and tell you from just holding it like that, it is a heat thrower. Definitely, definitely throwing some heat. But, you know, it's kind of to be expected. Whenever you have a light, uh, you know, that puts out a amount of lumens of that magnitude, typically they will heat up pretty well. Um, so this light also has a, f a sixth mode. So you have your 20, 200, 900, 2000, and your turbo. Uh, it also has a strobe. Um, we all know what strobe looks like. I'm not going to strobe it on here. Um, it just it just freaks me out to use the strobe on these things sometimes on camera. I'm, I'm going to get that one person that's like, I had a seizure, and I'm going to feel bad and just not make any more videos. So, <laughs> so if we do one, two, three, four, we can go back to lock. I, I really, really dig this little screen. Um, well, oh, man, what a, what a nice touch. And... It, it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but it does have a, there you go. Um, it does have like an anti-reflective coating, which is super nice. Um, big fan of that. Just because when you're outside and you're actually using these things and you're working, this little, this little thing's going to drive me crazy. Um, when you're outside and you're actually working, eh, there's nothing worse than trying to see a screen. Everybody has a smartphone, you know. When you're trying to look at your screen on the smartphone and the sun is just glaring just right and you can't see anything. Yeah, flashlights with screens do the same thing. So, super, super big fan of that. Um, let's go ahead and go do some beam shots. Let's get it. All right, so it's time for my favorite part. We're gonna go ahead and do some beam shots. So, here is your emollent. LD70. There we go. LD70. And we will quadruple click to take it out of lockout mode. And then we will go ahead and do some beam shots. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple other things since it's just easier to see it outside with the screen. So here we go. We are at, oh God, focus. There we go. So we are at 20 lumens. And this is going to be very much a flood beam. And if you can see the fence out there where it meets kind of in the corner, um, that's about 35 yards. So we're going to go 20 lumens. This is your 200 lumens. Bump it up to 900 lumens. You can see that is a huge flood pattern. And then 2000 lumens. We'll hit turbo real fast. And there is your max. There is your 4,000 lumens. And I really, really like the beam pattern on this. Um, so something else too. Uh, so let's go ahead and back it down. So one thing that we didn't talk about was if you triple click one, two, three, you can see battery voltage. And when it's fully charged, you're at 4.2 volts. So um, yeah, so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll just go ahead and walk around with this bad boy and you can catch me in frame and you can just kind of see what the pattern looks like while you're walking around with it. This is at 20 lumens. And then we will cycle. Go ahead and bump it up to 200 lumens. Go ahead and hit 900 lumens. We'll ramp it up one more time. 2000 lumens. And then one more time, turbo, we'll go to 4000. And there's your strobe. Then we'll step it down back to the 20 lumens. All right. So now we'll go ahead and do a couple comparison shots. I've got a few different flashlights out here with me. So um, I just tried to bring out popular ones. Plus I did bring out one, uh, <laughs> the FC11 that is in my super pumpkin color. So here we go. We've got FC11 on the left, Emolent on the right. You can definitely tell the difference in color. We'll go ahead and ramp up the FC11 and then we'll ramp up the Emolent. There you go. And just by, just by natural beam pattern, um, or not beam pattern, but just by the color of the beam, you, you should already know the, the emulet's definitely gonna be brighter. Um, man, this thing is getting hot though. It definitely gets hot pretty quick. So next, we've got Arkfeld. This is the UV model. We'll do a couple comparison shots. We'll start this off in moonlight. Can't even see that. So we'll just go ahead and skip over moonlight. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna cycle through real quick. So arc filled on the left, emolent on the right. We'll ramp up. And you can see that's all the arc filled's got. So we'll put it in turbo and then we'll turbo the emolent. Emolent definitely beats it out. Okay. All right, let's see here. Oh, next we've got the LM10. So we'll one, two, three, four, and she's ready to go. Now the LM10 is a smooth ramp. So um, this is gonna be another one of those where I'm just gonna ramp it up to the ceiling um, while I ramp up the emulet. So we are on moonlight right now, even though you can't see it on the LM10 with the emulet on the right on low, and we'll ramp. And then we'll turbo both. And the little pocket flashlight is holding his own. He's doing good. As I 
strobe myself back here. <laughs> uh, we'll just do a couple more. Um, next, I brought out the Baton 3 Pro Max. There we go. So we'll go ahead and go to low. And we'll go to low on the emulet. We'll ramp them both up. Baton 3 Pro Max on the left. Emulet on the right, as usual. And we'll ramp. And now these are both on high. Turbo. Emulet. Baton 3 Pro Max. All right. And we'll do one more before this flashlight burns my fingers off. I'm just kidding. It's really not that bad. <laughs> but just so you can get an idea, we are now at 3.9, 3.89 volts. So uh, it is discharging. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't say relatively fast. We're doing quite a bit of turbo out here, and I'm cycling through the modes pretty often. So, uh, yep, it wants to just jump to 2,000 lumens. So, okay. Baton 3. Emulet. LD70. So, we'll just go ahead and ramp. And I let it, I let it cycle through, just so you can see how, uh, how long it takes for the ramping. Um, the O lights will ramp all the way through twice before the emulet hits its ceiling. So, um, no, no big deal, but just so you know the difference. So this is your emulet. This is your baton three. Baton three is definitely more focused. Um, the emulet has a lot of spill. We'll go to turbo. And there you go. Um, that is pretty much all the lights that I brought out for this. Um, let's see. The weird thing that I'm having going on right now is the simulant sometimes doesn't want to step out of turbo. So I got to figure out what I'm doing wrong. I'm sure it's not the flashlight's fault. It's probably mine. But from that last bit of testing, there you go. Emulent is now at 3.8 volts. It's hard to hard to see on there, but battery life's not so bad. We've done you know, probably about five or six minutes worth of, well, maybe not five or six minutes, but we've done several minutes worth of turbo, and the turbo only gets about 15 minutes of runtime anyway, so in all relatively, relativity, it's really not doing so bad, but all right, that's what I've got for bean shots. Let's go back to the table. All right, so now that we are done with that, I realized something that we didn't do is, well, I guess two things that I didn't do. Um, I didn't do any flashlight comparisons, so I don't want to do this light any kind of disservice. And we're going to do some comparisons here. And uh, also something else I realized I didn't do. So to do your strobe, um, one, two, three, four, we'll unlock it. And I'm just going to strobe warning. I'm just going to do it on here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to. Uh, so if we... Boom, boom, double tap to go to turbo. Once you're on turbo, strobe warning, you double tap again and strobe and click to turn her off. There we go. And I'm gonna cycle back down to 20 lumens because that is probably what I'll use the majority of the time. So there is your strobe. I'm I'm 100% loving this flashlight. Um, I haven't even got to carry it in my pocket yet and I'm loving it. I do wish I had an option for a pocket clip um, but like I said, not a deal breaker for me, not a big deal. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a couple little size comparisons. I've got a small array of lights here on my table. And we'll go ahead and start off with a couple O lights because I know O light is kind of the meta for most people. Uh, so here is your Baton 3. And then we will also do a couple smaller O lights. So how about next to the i3T? There you go. You can see this thing is not very big um, and you're getting 4,000 lumens. And it comes in, I mean guys, this thing comes in at 60 bucks. And I think right now it's on sale for like 48. So this is <laughs> this is a lot of flashlight. Um, so let's go ahead and do the Olight i5T. And you can see the i5T is much bigger. So, or I shouldn't say much bigger, um, just 
longer. Uh, but you know, uh, so uh, well, we'll do we'll do a couple more O lights. I've got a couple. I've got a couple other ones here on the table. So how about next to the new Arkfeld UV? You can see it is definitely much much slimmer than the Arc Arkfeld. Uh, the Arcfield is a flat light though, so you do get that uh, thinner profile. We'll go over that here in just a second. Uh, how about next to the Baton 3 Pro Max? <laughs> that is a honking of a flashlight. Um, and that's that's all the O lights I have on the table. So let's do a couple other lights that you know people are probably going to be familiar with by now. Um, one of them being the Workos FC11. That is uh, actually pretty comparable in price. I think the Workos is 20 to $30, depending on the configuration that you get. Um, and then I've also got the Ace Beam Rider RX right here. This is a AA flashlight. And you can see the size difference there. And then last but not least, my baby, my LM10. I love the LM10. Um, We'll see. This is this is going to be a contender. Super super excited to uh, get some pocket time. Whoop! <laughs> to get some pocket time with this and kind of kind of see where I go from there. Um, I really do. I kind of just smacked myself on accident. Uh, fidget factor. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So that is your size profile for the LM10 or length, I guess I should say. Uh, so how about carry profile? So here is the LM10, and we can see the difference here, especially for um, circumference. Button size, this is very, very comparable. Um, LM10 is a triple emitter, so it definitely are gonna have a little bit larger of a bezel there. Um, where is my Baton 3? There he is. So here is Baton 3. And as far as like actual circumference goes, this is very, very similar to the Baton 3. You just get a little bit more length which, you know, if you heard my, if you watched my video and you heard my gripes about the Baton 3, that was my gripe. I liked the light. I hated this. It's like carrying a small, a small knife, you know, by the time you actually get your finger on the button, um, you know, my, my middle finger, or middle finger, I only have four fingers. Uh, my, <laughs> my right-handed ring finger, don't tell me what it actually is. I know it's got a name. Um, is just at the end of the light once I have it to where it's operational and then my pinky is just floating so I, I'm not a fan of that uh, if we look at something like the Baton 3 Pro Max which is a honker of a light uh, you can see here that the emolent is actually slightly smaller and whenever we look at profile like bezel wise there you go you know, the overall fit and finish and size of this light, um, to me, it's it's kind of perfect. And, uh, you know, it's one of those lights where you're going to hold like this. And you see that? That is perfect. We've got flat edges. So it is literally made to contour, contour to your hand and just be able to click. And the button, very, very tactile. Um, and if you know me, I am not just pumping up this light because they sent it to me for free. I will always give you an open and honest review. And I'm a major fan. Um, like I said, my only gripe is going to be no pocket clip. I feel like that's a really big missed opportunity. But it is, it's definitely not, having a pocket clip is definitely not the end all be all. Um, I just, I just prefer pocket clips. But I don't mind not having one. I will absolutely put a lanyard on this, and I'll make the I'll make the actual lanyard a little bit longer than normal. Maybe I'll throw on the Olight uh, Timascus bead, and just have it kind of hang out of my pocket, and then I can just yank it by the uh, by, by the lanyard, and uh, that that'll be all. That'll be all I have to do. So carry profile on this is awesome. Uh, just to do one more, just because I know that this this light right here is kind of big in the community. Here is your Arkfeld. So we can see here, Arkfeld is a big boy because he's wide. See? Wide. Wide boy. Um, when we go to the back side here where the button is, it's really not... I mean, even though that this is a flat, you know, a flat flashlight and we don't have, you know, the full like round diameter circumference... Um, 
it's really not much smaller, you know. This is this is a good size. I, I like this size. Um, and it's probably because I'm accustomed to carrying my LM10. And it is just ever so slightly shorter than the LM10. And to be honest, I think the LM10 could have shaved off just a hair. Uh, mainly because this pocket clip, mm, I like it. But it, it does, man. It sticks out. And look at, look at this. I, I would I would prefer no pocket clip than this ski slope of a pocket clip. <laughs> that that has been that has been the only thing I have hated about this flashlight is this pocket clip. So I'm one of those that I'm not just gonna take the pocket clip off and I'm gonna run it without it. Because you're gonna have holes or you're gonna have just random screws sitting there. So, you know, I would have preferred no clip on this over this and uh you know emulent that's why it's a, that's why it is a small gripe because you know this might have been a light where they couldn't have put a because i mean look we've got the magnetic charger on this side and then we have the oled on this side so you know they could have probably put a clip on here or th there's it, there's i'm sure there's reasons why they didn't and uh i can see the reasons sitting here in front of me <laughs> you know you know what i mean but this is a review and uh, I'm always going to give my honest open and honest opinion and uh, my opinion on this light is it is awesome this is a 4000 watt pocket torch uh, for under $50 with a rechargeable battery included and an OLED screen on it um, I think it's great I'll put a link in the description below um, Juki I hope I am saying your name right I'm not just coming off sounding dumb um, Juki, thank you so much for sending me this flashlight to check it out. I absolutely love this flashlight. Um, and we will get a more updated review once it's had some pocket time and I've done some charging cycles uh, just to see if this thing is going to be awesome. Uh, so aside from that, I hope I get to see more of these flashlights and just appreciate them because I appreciate any and all flashlights. <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video and checking out the Emilent LD70 with me. Um, I, this is this is a cool flashlight. I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna, gonna enjoy carrying this little, little guy here. So, like I said, LD70, I'm gonna have some links down in the description below if you would like to go check it out. Make sure you do, uh, this thing is pretty awesome. I'll do some shorts of it and I'll do, you know, some other content with it. And um, I'll keep updating you how I feel about this light. But I'm I'm pretty sure this is a banger. This is this is gonna be a banger. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I greatly greatly appreciate it. I could not do it without you. So, thank you, <laughs> Doug Doug Macrida. If uh, anybody knows what I'm talking about, you you get it. So, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I post pretty much every day. Catch you on the next one.